Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Juvia's Place, the Rebel Grey palette. Now I have reviewed the mint version of this palette. If you've not seen that, I will link it on the eye somewhere. But I thought this palette is perfect because Halloween for one is just around the corner. And also these grey toe colours guys, well these grey tone colours sorry these bring back nostalgia to me because I used to wear these grey tone colours all the time and I also used to wear black as well I never used to wear colour it was always black 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 makeup all the time but I was able to interpretate colour in my everyday looks as well and stepping out that comfort zone it just feels great because I'm able to interpretate my gothic fashion with a bit of colour as well and I absolutely love it. I thought this palette would just be perfect to review and play around and create a Halloween look. Well Halloween, well it's a simple but glam Halloween if that makes sense. So a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of glam and a little bit of Halloween as well. So I'm going to play around with this eyeshadow palette and let you guys know my thoughts about it. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. So, if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Juvia's Place, the Rebels Grey Palette, just keep watching. Right guys, let's play around with the Juvia's Place, the Rebel Grey's palette. Now I have reviewed the Rebels Mint palette. I will put that on the eye somewhere. So this retails for £5 down from £10. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's very similar but the only difference is it's grey whereas the one I had before was green. It just says on the back of it the Rebel in Greys features four complementary grey and soft shades for a day to night time look while providing maximum payoff with our highly pigmented colours. The Rebel, yeah, and sorry, the rest of the information's in a different language. So, just gonna take it out. Comes in a nice bubble wrap protection as well. And it's pretty much exactly the same as the box. I've already played around with this palette, so. so these are what the colours look like in here. You've got one matte and the rest are shimmers, and there's no mirror in this one either. Yeah, I was thinking to do like a grey smoky eye. I, I used to do a lot of grey smoky eyes back in the day. So I thought I might as well do something like that. I got inspired by this lovely lady right here, which just brought back the nostalgia back in my heart of the grey tones that I used to do. I love her makeup look, by the way. I will link her Instagram down below if you want to check her out. Sorry, I keep getting lipstick on my teeth. I'm actually wearing the Juvia's Place Nude Chocolate um, Lipstick in Coca. And I'm wearing the lip liner. This is the Juvia's Place lip liner in So Rare. I've done a uh, short on the lipstick and lip, um, lip liner. I have done it just not long ago. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that in the eye as well. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. So really, really liked the lipstick and lip liner. It's really good. So yeah, let's jump straight into the palette. So I'm just going to take this dark matte colour right here and I'm gonna work this in the crease area. Oh, it's really, really pigmented. My gosh, it's really pigmented actually, my gosh. That gray color, guys, is so pigmented, oh my gosh. Right, I'm gonna take this little stippling brush, well, this little eye blending brush, I should say. I'm gonna take this shimmery, um, light white greyish colour well it's kind of like a matte but it's got like a lot of sparkles in it but they tend to knock off well let's just say I don't know how to describe it it's not as sparkly as these two let's just put it that way so I'm gonna use that I'm just gonna start blending out that grey colour going back in with the first colour as well I'm just gonna add and blend these two colours together Alright guys, those colours blend beautifully. I had to take my time adding and blending those two colours, but they are really stunning. I just kind of wish this was like a matte grey, not a slightly shimmer grey, but it doesn't matter. It still looks beautiful nonetheless. I love it. They blend really, really well. So I am now ooh, losing everything now. I'm just going to grab my eyeshadow primer again and I'm just going to cut 
halfway across my lid for the shimmers. Really concentrate where to put this eyeshadow base. So I'm going to start cutting my lid halfway across. All right, I've cut my lids halfway, so I'm going to take that colour, the lightest colour, shimmery colour in the palette, on a flat brush. I'm going to pack this. Ooh, hello. That is really nice. Okay, can we appreciate how beautiful this colour is? And I haven't even wet the brush either. Absolutely stunning colour. It is so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to take another flat brush. I'll use this one to cut my lid with, so I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to grab the darker shimmery colour here now in the palette. I'm just going to grab this colour now, and I'm going to apply that right next to that shimmer colour we just applied. Huh. I mean, they're kind of similar, to be honest. Well, actually, no, this one's got a bit more blue toned in it, actually. It's not... It's not that dark, dark, to be honest with you, but pretty colour nonetheless. I'll show you guys up close, but can you see like this has got a bit more blue tone in it compared to the first colour? All right, I think I'm just going to draw a wing eyeliner and I will be right back. All right, guys, I thought I'd just finish the rest of my makeup and finish off my eyes as well. So my thoughts on the eyeshadow palette, it's really, really good. The grey eyeshadow is really, really pigmented. It's really pigmented, actually. It blends really nicely with this colour. I just wish it was a matte, to be honest. And these shimmers are gorgeous. They are quite similar, I'm not going to lie. Like, they both have that same, like, shine to them. But this one's got a bit of a blue tone to it, whereas this one's more of a silver tone. But it's beautiful nonetheless. I'll give you guys a little close-up. You guys can see I've added a little bit of glitter and I've done like a couple of bats. So I was going for something more like a Halloween but wearable kind of eyes, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like Halloween but glam at the same time and I really, really like it. This eyeshadow palette is great. If you get it for a fiver, that's even better. Highly recommend it. If these are your kind of colours, then you will love this palette. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and happy Halloween to you guys. I might create a Halloween look, like a bigger Halloween look. I may be, I may be not. We'll have to see what time brings. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye guys. Take care and happy Halloween.